Hey, welcome to the Haphazard Homestead. You don't have pot liquor just any old time. You have pot liquor in the springtime. Today, we're going to head out onto the homestead and pick us some greens and make us some pot liquor. We're going to be adding plantain to our spring mix so far this year of bittercress, dock, cleavers, and dandelion greens. So let's get going. All right, now you should be able to see those dock. See, they stand out. Those lance-shaped leaves there with a the center vein and the veins that come off to the side. Take a look what's down below. Plantain, plantain. Take a look. Plantain. See how it's got the lance leaves with the parallel vein? That's worth picking. So let's just get busy with it. See, this is the whole plantain. So what we're going to do is just take all of that. That's what you've got. That one's looking a little old. You wouldn't do this in the summertime, they wouldn't be succulent. As you're picking them, you can kind of gauge how succulent they are. A lot of these, what's the point? If all you can come out here is and pick one or two leaves, what's the point? You should get enough to make it worth your while. You'd like a meal or two. All right, here's our peppercress patch. It's in flower now. It's still gonna be good. We'll have to cook it some more, but it'll be good in a mixed pot. Can you see those leaves? You can sure tell them now. I'm going to use a knife for this and cut it off right at the root. Just reach down, get that rosette, cut the whole thing off. You eat that top part, get an idea how hot it is. There's your, there's your rosette. You can see it's losing some of its, it's losing some of its succulentness as it's going to See, that's because, but you have to admit they're small. And what else do we have? Look, what is that? Cleavers. Stick tight. Right? Stick tight. How do I know it's stick tight? You can test it on your clothes. Throw a stick tight in there. That's about all I have the patience for. We're going to hit the cleaver patch again. Here's one patch here under the sequoia tree. <laughs> want to talk about what kind of dandelion you're after. This is an example of one that's grown in the kind of shade and semi-shade. Take a look about how much more thin and succulent that leaf is going to be. It doesn't have a flower bud yet. It's not all tough and bitter. That's going to be a nice dandelion. Nice succulent dandelion green. You know dandelions. You see them everywhere. You can see I just got my knife under the ground. Got that rosette. That whole thing's good. I'll just cut it off right at the base right there. All right, so here's a place where we're going to get a couple of dandelions real quick. Can you see those? One right there. It's pretty nice and succulent. And we're going to go up and grab that one. This is what happens when you cut the base. You kind of get everything with it. We have to kind of sort it out. So there were really three plants in there. Let's just get all the leaves. Pick up the stray leaf here and there. What I'm going to do is cut their bases off out here just to make it easier. Clean up. That's good. I'm going to pick that one. Alright, I just quickly want to show you a really nice dandelion green. See, I got that one out of the earth. That's where its root goes in the ground. Nice and clean. The leaves are still pretty lush, but there's a lot of it there. That's a nice one. If you got a lot of those, that would be great. 
Here's what we've got from where we were out earlier today. A really nice long dock. Big mess of dandelion greens. All of that is dandelion greens. These are from the first year plants, some from seeds. They didn't have a flower stalk. These are first year docks, second year dandelion greens. Cleavers. Wintercress peppercress. It took <laughs> more time to gather that than anything because it's not that substantial of a plant. That's why I like using it raw, as you saw in another video, because it doesn't cook down. You get more out of it when you use it raw. We got plantain, and I'm just going to show. We got a lot of plantain. Of course, this will cook down, right? But it didn't take too long to get quite a bit of uh, plantain. You see how when you collect it, if you keep it kind of organized, then it gives you a better chance to kind of make sure of your identification as you go. It keeps it cleaner. You can figure out how to process it, how you want to process it uh, in different groups if you want to. So cleavers, we don't need to uh, do much to it. We'll just throw it in at the end because they're so mild. The dock takes a little more, but we don't have to put it in boiling water. The plantain, the cress, and the dandelions will all put in pour boiling water over it. All right, how about that? That's a mess of green. We're just gonna throw the plantains in. We're gonna throw the cress in, dandelion greens in. Don't worry, it'll all cook down. It'll all fit in just fine. Put the boiling water in on top of that and then let that boil for a few minutes. And just kind of stir that around. Just let that come back up to a boil. We're going to drain that out and then put in some more boiling water. I have some water boiling and ready to go. You can see that boiling. That's when we want to take it off the stove and drain it and then put our second load of boiling water in there. Bring back these greens. Put them right back in the pot. Cook for about 15 minutes and that's really what's going to get them soft. That's, I am going to cut off the long stems of this dock and just get rid of that and just cook the leaves. Of this. I'm going to throw in this dock. I'm going to throw in the other dock. I'm going to go ahead and throw in all the cleavers and leave it cooked for probably 20 minutes, maybe more than that. We're going to use the greens for one thing and then we're going to come back and use the broth. So I'm just going to add some ham, cloves, elephant, garlic, cut those up and throw it in with the greens. That's all I'm going to do. The garlic that just kind of is growing wild in the garden where it was all dug up. I'm just going to pour everything in. We're going to save these greens for other things, right? But what I'm going to do now is just take out this, mmm, so tender, mmm, so tasty. I'm going to put that back in the cook pot, save it for later. What we're after is this broth. Here's what, I've, what we've got. Just some nice, clear broth. That is good stuff. That's pot liquor. That's the stuff that's in the pot. That it's going to be so good. Think of it as just a nice spring tonic. Here's what I'm going to go have now. I'm going to have my pot liquor, nice spring soup, nice spring broth with some Jerusalem artichoke biscuits topped with a little bit of damson plums. It's just straight damson cooked down and canned. Square mile cider, a nice light, a nice light uh, hard cider. So how was it? I tell you, you are not going to serve that to company, but you're going to eat that. You're going to like it. You're going to feel better. It is an essence of spring. When you have pot liquor, your goal isn't to have some rich soup. It's a broth. It's a little bit bitter because you are having the greens, the strong greens, and you're cooking that out of them. But with the ham or the bacon, if you use bacon, and then the garlic, it really pulls it all together. You have a little bit of that bitterness. That's what you want in the springtime. It's to let you know you, you're alive again. Things are going to happen. <laughs> Change is going to come. That is a great spring dinner. I'll do that again and again and again. It is that good. 
But again, it's not something you're going to serve to company <laughs> unless you get special kind of company. Somebody who knows the value, a good old pot liquor. All right. But hey, what about those greens that you put aside? There's our greens with the garlic and the ham. These greens are so good. They are so mild. Mm, you can just eat them like that. You can see that plantain in there. It still holds up so tender because we've cooked it for a good long while. That is so good. Mm, you could just serve it just straight up like that. Mm, there would be no complaints. Mm. You taste the garlic because it's a mild garlic being the elephant garlic. And of course anything with ham is good. Mm, that's good. Mm, mm, mm. That is spring greens. Mm. Oh, but that's good. That is so good.